Hey everybody, this is Kidlot44. Welcome back to my gaming channel where you're watching another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video on the Nintendo Wii U. This one is kind of important because the Wii U version of Black Ops 2 finally got a patch. As you see here, I'm downloading it. As soon as you sign onto the game the next time, you're going to be greeted with this download screen and it's downloading the latest patch for Black Ops 2 Wii U. Uh, now, I, I looked into the game. I think the only thing that was changed is the Wii Remote settings. Uh, I know for sure like the PS3 and Xbox and PC all got patches a long time ago and they actually fixed some of the balancing issues in the game. For example, the SMGs got higher recoil, a higher hip fire spread. Uh, but the one thing that was noticeable was that the UAV was increased from 350 points to 425. We didn't actually get that patch because our UAV count is still 350 points. Uh, so I don't think we actually got any patch in terms of gameplay. The only thing that this patch affects is the Wii Remote settings. And so as you can see here, I'm going into the menu and the sensitivity menu. And when you're playing with the Wii Remote, you're going to be greeted with two more sensitivity options that that weren't there before. One is cursor sensitivity, and the next one is cursor speed, and this is the exact thing that we've seen in Modern Warfare 3 on the Wii. So it's kind of nice, finally, that they patched the game so, you know, Black Ops 2 has these two sensitivity options because they are very important. Cursor sensitivity basically uh, reads your hand movements. The higher it is, the more accurately it reads your hand gestures. And cursor, sen or cursor speed, excuse me, is just how fast the Wii or the cursor moves on the screen. So it's all fine and dandy. It works really well. I tried it out, and it does work really wonderful, just like how it was in Modern Warfare 3. So I'm really excited for that part. However, though, it's not actually completely 100% fixed uh, because cursor sensitivity, that option, actually changes and it resets back to a default value every time you aim down sight in the game. So that really, really does suck. So say, for example, you got your controls all set up and perfect. The next time you ADS, they get reset to some other value. So that really sucks, and I'm just still dubbing it right now that the Wii Remote is broken. It's a nice fix, but, you know, they didn't fix it fully. As you can see here, I'm trying to show you guys I'm putting the cursor sensitivity to 40, the maximum, and then I'm spazzing out. I'm waving left and right, back and forth, and back and forth. And then after I ADS, it goes away. It goes. Be it becomes a lot slower, and, it, you know, your controls definitely trains. You might not, you know, be able to see it really clearly in the video, but trust me, when you play in-game, you ADS, everything gets reset, and it kind of is disappointing. So what I've been doing though over the past hour playing with this patch is I've actually been playing just hip fire only because hip firing, you know, doesn't affect anything. Only ADS affects it. Uh, but hip firing is totally okay. As you can see here though, I'm putting some moves on people. Everything feels so nice and so fluid. The one thing I hate about the gamepad or the, you know, the pro controller or dual analog stick is that, you know, your movement feels so stiff. But with the Wii remote, you know, I can strafe, I can peek out left, right. I can do some bunny hopping, you know, some jumping, some, some drop shotting and stuff like that. As you can see here, I'm putting a couple of moves on these guys so I'm not you know 100% perfect yet my aim is still kind of off because I haven't been playing with the Wii Remote but you know when they eventually patch this I'm going to be doing a Wii Remote sensitivity guide so you guys can get the optimal control settings uh, when playing Black Ops 2 with the Wii Remote but there you go those that's a little gameplay for you guys and that's what the patch does it's not totally fixed but hopefully maybe a hot patch or a hot fix or something like that can totally completely fix the Wii Remote because after the Wii Remote gets fixed I'm going to be playing with the Wii Remote on and on and on and I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, will be happy with that as well so my name is Kidlot404 thank you guys for watching this video and until next time peace thanks for watching guys if you would I would appreciate a like and or favorite as those things do improve my YouTube channel also you can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I'm also going to be putting some annotations on the screen so you can click around to watch more of my videos and finally I definitely recommend if you're new to the channel to check out my video guide it's basically a document that lists and organizes all my best content all in one nice neat place so you can get a feeling of what this channel is about and find the best content that you want to watch Thank you very much for supporting me, Kidlot404, and Nintendo Wii U.